right, so there's a big event that is coming to Mississippi. And for someone that's into track, someone that coaches track, someone that's, you know, track's been their whole life, tell us about this Junior Olympics that's coming to Jackson. Oh, man, it's a, it's a great opportunity for young kids. You got kids from the youngest from six-year-old to all over the 18. And uh, the event is, is great. It's the first time ever for Jackson. Um, we've had it in the past. But for the state of Mississippi to be able to host the event is, is it's, I'm at a loss of words. But the event itself is, is going to take place in July, uh, July 4th through July 7th. And we have a district qualifying meet. The qualifying meet is this weekend in Louisiana. And the kids qualify and they transfer and come to uh, Jackson, Mississippi. If you end up winning these, uh, this region, you know, where do you go next? Um, so the kids, the top five qualify out of this region and they go to Texas A&M for the nationals. So That's nationals correct. will be one week long. Yeah, and is that the whole world? Like, I mean, is this like when they use the word Olympics, they mean other countries, or are they just talking about the United States? This the United States, okay. East Coast, the West Coast, East North, Coast and the South. Okay, so Junior Olympics for America, and you know, they, these we have some of the uh, best track athletes in the country. So I'm sure Mississippi's going to have a lot of people competing. Yeah, so with that, my club, we have about 80 kids that are going to compete for the Junior Olympics, and we're looking forward to competing against the world. Yeah, and and for someone that ran track at Jackson State, you help around the community. You know, what does it mean to you as somebody that spent, you know, kind of not your whole life, but a lot of your life around this sport to see something like this come? Man, like it's a, it's an honor um, to just pay it forward, give everything I had to the kids, all my time, my efforts, my knowledge, my skill sets, and just to see a kid start from zero and grass to go to 100, it, it's, it's, it's an honor. Whether it's Pearl High School, Tyler Town, I mean, you think about some of the great schools that run track, Ridgeland High School, yes, sir. Where, where you help out. Uh, obviously, we've had an Olympic athlete over there. So, for you, what makes track so big in Mississippi? The big thing about track and field is it's an individual sport, and then you have to be able to hone in on your skill sets, you know, be able to opportunity to uh, grow and, and prosper. I've always felt like football and track have a great correlation, and I think that maybe, you know, we have such great football players that all of a sudden we have great track, but then we have great track athletes that end up turning into really good football <laughs> players, and they tend to do both. I've, I've noticed that uh, here. But you also had uh, the Mississippi Track Stars. Yes, sir. Talk about what you guys do, you know, on a weekly basis, daily basis. On a uh, weekly basis, we, we uh, pretty much train uh, Monday through Thursday, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m., uh, getting kids ready, whether it be high jump, long jump, triple jump, hurdles, pole vault, any event you want to do in track and field, we, we offer to the kids, to the community. Um, like I mentioned before, ages 6 to 18. And just basically just trying to hone in on those skill sets to be able to compete against everyone uh, each and every weekend. Like this weekend is just a qualifying. So the top eight out of that region comes to Mississippi for the Junior Olympics. Okay, what's the hardest event in track and field? Okay, the decathlon. <laughs> no, but, but individual, I individual. In individually, I would have to say the hardest event would probably be the pole vault. You think the pole vault? Not the pole vault. In my opinion, okay, the pole vault is And then what about on the track? On the track, it would probably be the 400 hurdles. Four. You know what? That's what I was gonna say. The 400 hurdles because. It's almost like a dead sprint, but now you're also jumping over something. You're jumping over a barrier, yes, sir. Non-hurdle events, I always found the 800 to be very difficult because you're in between that range of long distance and sprints, and it's kind of like you're, you got to kind of find your groove and whatever your rhythm is. For you, what, what would you run? I did the 800. I oh, did there, the there, yeah, I, <laughs> I did there, the there it is. Well. See, I told so, you. I, I, yeah. I wasn't bringing in a bad guest. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... Uh, for information about the Junior Olympics, where, anywhere we could go find that? Yes, you can go to our website as uh, MississippiTrackStars.org, mm -hmm. and that information will be readily available. And then uh, you can also visit the USATF Southern Association for more information. Awesome. Thank you so much, and go check this out. It's at Hughes Field and Millsaps College, and uh, it'll be a fun event. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.